Okay, in this video we're going to look at creating events and reminders in Google Calendar. Now before we do that, uh, in the last video we created a geography department calendar and a Spanish department calendar. In this, we're going, in this uh, video we're also going to create two um, new calendars, one for year 12 or 6th year um, geography and, and one for Spanish. So we'll create two calendars first of all and uh, you'll see why in, uh, shortly. So go down to here on the left hand side, other calendar and press on the plus, plus and we create new calendar and I'll call this um, year 12 and say so year 12 is in Ireland is sixth year, year 12 Spanish calendar create calendar wait for it to, to, to progress once that's finished then I go back click on settings on the top left hand side but I need to wait and I see my Spanish calendar down here on the left hand side has been created now if I wanted to change the name or anything like that here all I need to do is click on this here now one thing I do want to do is change the color I want to keep maybe the Spanish department this and the, the maybe for the different years uh, school years I might just stick with um, a, a, an, an orange yellow color so I'm going to click on this one here maybe change it slightly more put onto the plus sign again if I wanted I could put in a, a different hexadecimal code here but we'll just just move this slightly mm. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Okay, and again, I'm going to do the same for geography. Create new calendar. Uh, year. Year 12. Your geography. Geography students and create. settings go back go down to the year 12 geography calendar and you see it's put in alphabetical order again I'm going to change the color of this here because I'm going to stick with um, green for geography orange yellow for for Spanish so I'm going to choose just a different green okay okay next what I'm going to do is um, just so that you can distinguish sometimes what gets confusing is the um, distinguishing between events, reminders, tasks, and so on, on your calendar. And this is why I've put a bit of time into the color scheme here, because once I get the color scheme right, then it'll be easier for me to distinguish and just show you what I mean by that. So again here, for example, I look at my calendar, this is for uh, October, and I see that um, there's an all day event on the 5th, and I see this was created in my, the alpha calendar here. See that here. So this is, um, and I see this an all-day event because it, it crosses the full square size. And then underneath there's just a, a set time event at 10, 10 a.m. And again, here I can see now reminders and tasks, as I would have said before, are a little bit different to the other calendars. Um, so again, I can click on this here. But immediately I can see there's a reminder. I can go over here and see my color red. And as I said before, the blue often represents act, uh action activity and so on and this is here and also you have got those little two icons these google icons the the hand with the circle around the finger and this sort of baton or or stick with a, a ball on it okay so let's go back to i want to go back to um uh, where we are today and we want to create some events maybe for the first week of september so I'll click on today at the top here and we'll start by this one i'll go to i'm going to go on to september here I'm going to create um, an event for the 10th. Thursday the 10th of September, we have got a Spanish Culture Day, and we're going to create an event here. So how do we do that? Well, I have the option of over here clicking on Create, and I can see Event, Reminder, and Task are showing here. Just a little thing here. You see, if I click Remove a Reminder over here and Task, I see that these are no longer visible here. 
So uh, if I want to see reminders and tasks and create here, just a, a point to notice because sometimes people are confused when they don't see a, a reminder and task and somebody else's screen, they do. So we're going to create an event. This is one way of clicking on create over here. I'm going to create an event. It's going to be an all day event. In other words, it should cross the whole square here. Um, and we'll add some, uh, we'll complete this dialog box shortly. So that's one way of clicking in here. The other way of doing this is just clicking in here. So I click in here and I say it's a Spanish culture day. So Spanish culture day is on the 10th of September. Um, it does not repeat. I don't want it to repeat. If I wanted to add a time here, I could do this here. If I want to find a time, find a time can be confusing because it'll take you to that day and sometimes the view confuses people, but I could, I, I would simply just do it here. Um, but as I said, this is an all day event. Then I go down, I continue, add guests. Now this calendar, if it's been shared, let's say for example, the Alpha EdTech Pro might be shared with all teachers in the school or it might be shared with heads of the department or whatever then um, they, will, they will see this, these changes on the calendar. If I want to add extra people to this here, I can add, add them here with the email address. Again, if this was, a, as we've seen recently, um, sort of an, an all-day video conferencing day, then I can just add the Google Meet video conferencing here. Location-wise, I can add a location which will be accessible, for example, if it's a Google location. So I'll put in one here just for out of interest. Ludgate. Um, This is a digital hub in Skibbereen. Um, but similarly, I could have easily, instead of putting in a, a, a date that, was, that you could find on Google, I, or a sort of place, a location that you can find on Google, I could have put in classroom 15 or the, the hall or whatever here. And then adding description. What's nice about in here, you've actually got a fairly basic editor here. So you can actually uh, work with some, um, some formats underlying uh, bold and so on and also number list and even a link here so i'm just going to put say, um, spanish what do i have here oh no that's not right. so spanish culture day with a with a focus this year on Catalonia or Catalonia, whichever we want to. And if I have an attachment here, if I want to link to a video that maybe people might look at beforehand or an attachment that they may, well, they have it on their computers or on their tablets or whatever, I can add that, that here. Now you might say, okay, this is Spanish culture day. What's this doing in here? I could easily change the calendar this is on here by just clicking here and saying, okay, this actually be the Spanish department or it should be the, 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 the year 12 Spanish calendar. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it like this here. The free, I'm going to put in busy here because this is letting know people who, who have my calendar that I'm actually busy on this day and I don't really need any other distractions. Default visibility, um, you'll probably have this as private, but you can choose it to be public if you want to, but you'll have to set this up in settings, so I'll leave this as... Um, and then lastly, you have got add notification. I don't need notifications. It's a little bit like a reminder that I can add if I wanted uh, um, some notification the day before, and I can set this up as a text or as a or as an email. <clears throat> okay, so I can save this here. Uh, we'll save this here first. I'll explore the more options and we can access more options from different ways shortly. So we'll just save this for the moment. So I have this, I have this in here. Again, if I did need to, if I wanted to go in and change this here, just click on this here and I go in here and edit. I can go in and edit it here. The other thing, if I wanted to, for example, there are other options that I can do, which will take me, let's say, a typical thing we might end up doing is saying, actually, I need to share this event with the geography, you know, this is Spanish, the, to the Spanish department calendar and to the year 12 Spanish calendar. Uh, I can do this here. Or similarly, I can also, with regards to change uh, change owner, maybe for the the year year 12 Spanish teacher is uh, taking taking control of this event or maybe change it to one of the students in year 12 and similarly publish event to show you publish event again I can publish to the website or um, use the Google Calendar um, <clears throat> URL okay I'll close that so again that's accessible from here or if you, it's also accessible the same features are accessible if you go in here you can also have the same features here where you can print you can duplicate again or copied to the different calendars. 
And again, because the Spanish culture, this in this case here, I'm going to copy it to uh, the Spanish department calendar and save. And I'm also going to copy it to the, the year 12 Spanish calendar and save. And now you see that it's showing up for all of these here. Now for the moment, I can go over on my left hand side down to my calendars and click on these here so that they're not showing. And, and maybe I'll leave them like that. So this is the an all day event. Next I'm going to create just a, a one hour event. This is a, a, an all day event um, um, around Spanish Spanish culture. Um, but I also on that day, let's say I have a, a, a meeting with your 12 students, uh, geography students. So I'm going to click in here. Again, I could have clicked over here. Oops. I can click in here. And I want to add, in this case here, um, Geography meeting with year 12. This is going to be just a set time. So in here, this is like an all day, but I want to put in a set time. And this is during the day, I'm going to take some time off at 12 o'clock to have a meeting with them. And maybe with the uh, teachers, uh, or the teacher or teachers from year 12. This is just a one-off event. It's not a repeat event. Again, I add guests, I don't need to. Maybe we're going to do this video conference in Google Meet. We could do that here. Again, add location. I'm going to put in uh, room 14. A description um, meeting re um, geography trip to for example sticking with the Spanish theme and again if I have an attachment here or if I want to link to videos I can do that here and save okay so we see how this is different so we have the Spanish culture this is an all-day event and then the the just the set time event is showing up here with the dot if i wanted to let's say just a little bit more on events if i wanted to change this around i can drag this over here drag this back here drag this over here so this is very easy i don't need to click on this here go in edit it change time i don't need to do that i can just drag and drop um okay next thing i want to also before we finish this video i want to create a reminder as well so I'm going to, on the previous day, I'm going to create a reminder and I'll call it, again, I need to click over here, making sure that on the, my left hand side reminders is, is active or highlighted. I'm going to click on reminder and you see it changed. The event is this dialog box. The reminder has a different dialog box because really this reminder is only for me. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to type in reminder, even though it should be obvious then from color and so on, but reminder, um, uh, let's say for um, okay what am I going to call this here give the, it's a good idea to give it some a title that will when I see it I know what I need to do um, okay check with So we're going to have a, a flamenco dancer coming in at um, on the Spanish Culture Day. So I want to add this here. Do I need to? Is it an all day? Well, I don't. I can contact him or her at any time of the day. So I'll just leave it for all day. Um, I'm going to add another reminder. You see, it's a different color over here. It's crowded screen, and you've got this hand. I'm going to add another reminder here, or I'm going to just do it from over here. I could create reminder. In this case here, this is I have to go in here and click on the September. The first was not the first; it's actually the ninth. I'm going to put it in for twelve o'clock. I'm going to leave this at twelve, or let's change this to to one o'clock. And it's not a repeat. And I need to give this a title. If I don't give it a title, look look what happens. So I see it in here, and it doesn't give me much information. I'm going to click on this here, and I'm going to add title. And we'll say call tapas 
chef. And again, I need to call him or her at that time. And it puts it into place. So here we have, so we have created our, our, our events here. We've created our reminders, and we see this here. And what we'll go on to, oops, on to next, we'll go and look at creating tasks. Okay, 